Hello, hello. Hello. All right. How's everything? Good? That's great. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit here. Happy to be here. Thank you for joining us. We are so excited. Yes. Uh, and I was um, reading through your bio and it just sounds fantastic what you two are doing. That's wonderful. And congratulations to your son on the uh, acceptance to master's program. That's really wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My children are young, so I don't have to worry about them leaving me yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we the are live. The time <laughs> always come. <you> know? <laughs> oh, that'll be a sad day. Okay, well, um, we are live streaming and we are recording. So I'm going to turn this over to Grace to introduce our guests. And then we will have an introduction also by Lucia and then begin her presentation. So go ahead, Grace. Sure, I am so excited today to welcome the duo Behenashea, composed of Lucia Behenashea on piano and Sergio Behenashea on flute. They will be presenting a lecture recital about Brazilian music for flute and piano. Um, so just a little bit of background about them um, and the duo. The duo Behenashea has performed since 1989 with performances in numerous cities in the Americas, Europe, and Asia. The duo has a special predilection for erudite and popular Brazilian music. Lucia and Sergio, besides being musicians with intense artistic activity, are also professors and researchers who invest in the formation of young musicians in both artistic and academic areas and in projects related to interpretive practices and Brazilian music. The duo Behenashea was awarded with the Fun Art Award for Classical Music, touring 10 Brazilian cities. They also toured the USA in 2010 and 2012. And also in 2012, duo, duo Behenashea went to Portugal and England for concerts. In 2016, duo, duo Behenashea performed at the University of Performing Arts in Vienna, Austria, and at the 31st International Festival of Flautists in Lima, Peru, and at the 44th Annual Convention of the National Flute Association in San Diego, USA. Also in 2017, they were invited to perform at the Toronto Toronto Latin Flute Festival in Canada. So they have been places and been around um, and we are so pleased to have them here with us today to present their lecture recital. And um, if you have any questions over the course of it, you can put it in the chat and we will try to get to those at the end. Um, so I'll go ahead and turn it over to Lucia. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much, Grace. It's just a pleasure to be here in this Sunday afternoon with all you guys. And I would love to um, congratulate you guys to, to do this beautiful event. It's, it's such a pleasure to really be part of it. And doing something we really love to do, which is to promote Brazilian music for flute and piano. We've been doing this for more than 30 years, besides playing the standard repertoire. But uh, we know we truly love to, to to talk about our music and to play our music to every audience that is interested in listening to it. So, uh, you know, whenever you, you want to put the video to, for us to listen to, we are ready here. Thank you. Hello, I am a pianist and professor of piano and chamber music at Federal State University of Rio de Janeiro. I am here to present with Sergio Bahenechea a unique mosaic 
of Brazilian music for flute and piano. The duo of flute and piano has been largely explored by Brazilian composers since the second half of the 19th century. In Brazil, the flute has an important role in the urban popular music development in the big cities since the last decade of 19th century, like the Choro. One could see this instrument in the concert halls in a symphonic orchestra performance, and later the same instrument would be in a bar or a cafe, performing shows with a guitar, a clarinet, a pandeiro. This versatility can be observed in a considerable amount of music being written for the flute and the piano. This recital aims to show a sample of Brazilian music written in different times, all of them in a compositional language that blends European tradition with Brazilian popular music roots. Sergio and I have been researching Brazilian repertoire for flute and piano for more than 30 years, and for that reason, we like to explore not only compositions written originally for this formation, but also works that are arranged or transcribed for it. Of the entire repertoire presented here, two works were written originally for this formation, and three are transcriptions or arrangements. Above all, this repertoire consists of compositions that are dear to us as a duo for flute and piano. It is a repertoire that we truly enjoy performing. We had a great time preparing it for this recital. Henrique Alves de Mesquita was the first student of the Rio de Janeiro Conservatory of Music to be sent to Europe to further his musical studies. The operetas and leggero pieces represent the majority of his production. He is considered to be the creator of the expression Tango Brasileiro, which evolved to the Choro genre. Mesquita was a trumpet player, but also played many other instruments like the flute. Batuque, a lyrical and nostalgic piece, was written originally for piano solo, a tango or a choro, you may say. In this transcription made by Sergio Bahenechea, piano and flute have an equal role, taking turns to present the main melodic material and counter melodies. So let's hear Batuque by Henrique Alves de Mesquita.
Roberto Farias is a band conductor, composer, and arranger from Cubatão, a city in Sao Paulo state. He wrote Três Canções para Schmidt, Three Songs for Schmidt, for voice and piano in 2011, and later did different arrangements for choir, wind ensemble, and for one wind instrument and piano. This version for flute and piano is from 2021 and is dedicated to our duo. These three songs are a tribute to Brazilian poet Afonso Schmidt, also from Cubatão, and are based on three of his poems. According to Farias, Cubatão is a Seresteira song after Villa Lobos style. Cara Sujas, which means dirty faces, is a samba, a protest song after Chico Buarque's style. And Simpatia, sympathy, is a choro after Pixinguinha's style. So let's hear Três Canções para Schmidt, de Roberto Farias.
Flotiano is a collection of three pieces written by Suzy Magalhães for our duo. Suzy Magalhães is from Brasilia, and besides being a composer and arranger, she has a beautiful career as a collaborative pianist. The suite presents the form fast, slow, fast, beginning with a very rhythmic and vigorous piece, followed by a lyrical and melancholic piece, and it ends with a bayon, a Brazilian musical, musical genre from the Northeast, made popular all over the country by accordionist Luis Gonzaga, who was called the King of Bayon. So let's hear Flauteano by Suzy Magalhães.
Liduino Pitombeira was born in Ceará State, in the northeast of Brazil, and is currently a professor of composition at Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. Fantasia sobre a Mulher Rendeira, which could be translated to Fantasy on the Lace Maker, is an original work for flute and piano. Later, the composer arranged it for flute, clarinet, and piano. Mulher Rendeira is a song believed to be written by Lampião, a famous leader of the Cangasso, a social movement against the government in the Northeast that took place around the end of 19th century and first half of 20th century. This song is known and sung in the whole country and has also been recorded in several different languages. Ceará is known for the beautiful lace that is produced there by artisan women. The lyrics are, Olé, mulher rendeira, olé, mulher renda. Tu me ensina a fazer renda, que eu te ensino a namorar. Hey, lace maker, hey, lace maker. If you teach me how to make lace, I'll teach you how to flirt. This composition presents some rhythmic complexities with varied metrics, combined with a very lyrical melody material, always reminding us of the original theme in a very refined and subtle way. So let's hear it.
Ernesto Nazaré is considered one of the most important names of the Brazilian piano, author of more than 200 pieces for this instrument, among them machiches, tangos, waltzes, and other dances. Odeon is perhaps his most famous composition, a virtuosic Brazilian tango. The version that we present here, made by Sergio Barrenechea, blends excerpts of arrangements of great names who recorded Odeon. Carolina Cardoso de Menezes, Radamés Nhatali, Edu da Gaita, Jacó do Bandolim, Pixinguinha, Pedro de Alcântara, and Nazaré himself. So let's hear Odeon by Ernesto Nazaré. The duo of flute and piano has been largely explored by Brazilian composers since the 19th century. Mm -hmm. It is a repertoire worth of being studied and heard, not only by musicians and researchers from our country, but by everyone who is interested in ex expanding his or her knowledge of Brazilian music for flute and piano. We are very fortunate to have our dear friends, Susi Magalhães, Roberto Farias, and Liduino Pitombeira writing such beautiful music for flute and piano. We also feel very lucky to have in our history of music composers like Mesquita and Nazaré. 
Thank you very much for watching us. It was a pleasure to participate in this beautiful event. All right, well, welcome back. Bravo. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. It was gorgeous. Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> it was a pleasure. That took a lot of work to put that presentation together. So I'm just impressed from that standpoint. Nice job. <laughs> Thanks to Sergio. He is the man. <laughs> he did oh. all the editing and the filming and everything. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, as you know, we had many comments coming in as you performed. So just just bravo and so many congratulations and um yeah, so we would like to open it up now for questions if anybody has some. I know I shared some already in our Zoom chat and um, a couple other panelists commented about asking Sergio what kind of flute he is playing. So if you would like, we can go back and, and let's start with that question, Sergio. So can you share with everybody what you shared in our chat here about your flute? Well, I, 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 uh, I start playing with uh... Uh, Gizal flute uh, 700. It's like a, a student flute, but I, I got from him uh, a nice head joint with a gold lip plate uh, a while ago. It's a very nice instrument. And I have a, a friend here who, who is a technician and he gold plated the, the key work. So the flute's very nice. and. And I, I uh, lately I, I like it very much to play with, with that instrument. Is it? Uh, and, and for for uh, flauteando, uh, Susie's music, I I play with with, with uh, uh, Brunning Cooper. It's a white gold flute. It's a very dark sound and it, it has a La Fan head joint. But I, with, with this pandemic, I, I don't play as much and it's a very heavy instrument for me right now, <laughs> you know? I, we, we don't play as much, you know? We, we just stay home and yeah, it, it's very difficult to, to keep in shape and I don't know. I don't know about you, but I, I'm, I'm playing less now. I think, and and I think my my muscles are not, <laughs> are not so so uh, worked out. So I I I rather like to play with the dissolve. It's it's a more easy instrument right now. Is That's Brazil it. beginning to open up, pandemic wise, or not yet? Well, I don't know if you know, we, we, we have a government who didn't do anything about the pandemic. So we, we, are, we are in bad shape, you know. Uh, 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 vaccination is, is very slow. Mm. We have now uh, about 11% of the population who got the two shots and about 25% got one shot. So, uh, and the hospitals are full of people and uh, it's crazy. And, and people are thinking about uh, a third wave or something. And we, we hope not, we hope we, we have a better, better. But our government is uh, incredibly, uh, didn't do anything. They they live for for the the uh, like the federal instance didn't do anything. They live for the state and mm. cities to to do everything. So it's it's crazy. But uh, maybe around the the end of the year we will get some point. We don't know. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, um, I had a question and um, the mic, uh, 
Lucia mentioned that you know, was it all of these composers or, or most of these, uh, certainly the current ones that you had personal connections with and in our last few minutes, I was wondering if you could share with us how you develop those relationships and, and maintain yeah. those. You know, some of the, the composers um, are colleagues who work in, in our university or some other universities. And this is a very, very close net that we develop with uh, the universities in Brazil because they're all public and, and federal. So, uh, you know, we've been playing for 30 years, more than 30 years together. And we kind of grew together with these composers, you know, at no, I wouldn't say most of them, but but a lot of them are from the same generation that we we are. So uh, we got to de develop a friendship with them, and it was just natural that they would uh, write to us, you know, write music for us to play. So and some of them are really uh, used to be uh, professors that we admire and and had a relationship of teacher student and. It, again, it was natural to to ask them to to write something or to, to you know to be able to get some of the music that that was already composed for the the, the formation, the flute duo, and 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 this is one of the most rewarding thing that we've been doing, you know, to to, to get to work with them, and for example, this uh, the music by Liduino Pinto, Pitombera, the fantasy. Uh, you know, he wrote, wrote the first version for flute and piano, and then he wrote this version for trio with a clarinet, flute and piano. Mm -hmm. So he changed the piano uh, part a little bit, <laughs> and we got the. And he never had the time to put it on paper again. So we listened to the recording because it was so much, you know, interesting. And we, you know, we took it and we wrote it down, you know, so we would have the new version. And we told him like, oh, you know, I, I hope you don't mind, but we sort of, you know, got the, the, the <laughs> new improvements. And then he said, oh, that's great. You know, just you know, just put it on finale and say, you know, you had some of the arrangement by <laughs> Sergio and Lucia. <laughs> so, you know, we have this privilege to have uh, such generous, you know, composers that became friends and work with us. It's really wonderful. Well, thank you again for sharing all of that with us for recording and for putting that presentation together. Um, and yes, we really enjoyed that. Uh, panelists, any other questions before we close out? Okay, well, thank you again, and we hope to see you in the future. Great, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you thank everybody. You. And it was a, a great pleasure to be here and we, we hope we, we see each other uh soon <laughs> yes in person <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> bye. okay bye bye okay i stopped the live stream here so we are off facebook um okay. but okay. yeah okay thank you Faust. Yeah. oh my goodness <laughs> so enjoyable Oh, thank I you know. very much. I, I hope you have the, great. Yeah, I hope you have the chance to use that for something else because that was just a beautiful presentation oh, yeah. and beautiful playing, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we kind of uh, recycled the uh, uh, the first and the, the last piece. Yes. Yeah. We we got from from another another uh, recital. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. I think that that's the third third or fourth video that we we do yeah. or something <laughs> i'm sure you, you cannot go and play live you we, we i know <laughs> yes. yeah well we are certainly grateful and we wish you all the best okay thank you we we'll say the same okay. for for you too okay stay thank healthy you. Bye -bye, safe guys. and we will bye-bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>